Dear Grinch, and welcome to this week's episode of Wildlife Wednesday, where we're covering the dragonfly, or the Schnahed Moor, as they're known. Emma Jane is my name, the girl who tells stories about Johnny McGorry, and the dragonfly is a prominent character in this book here, Johnny McGorry in the Game of Rounders. And here's some really good facts about him. So, you will always find dragonflies beside water any kind of water, even in big bustling cities and towns, if you've got a little garden pond, you'll more than likely find a dragonfly or a damselfly. I'm here at Ballinafa Lake in County Kildare in Ireland, and we have buckets of them this summer. So basically with the dragonflies, they start off as little nymphs, and they basically stay that way for about four years under the water, held on to the likes of rushes and stuff like that. But then after about four years, in the springtime when it gets warmer, the nymph will basically crawl up the reed, come out of the water, and it'll metamorphosize into a dragonfly or a damselfly. So the dragonfly and the damselfly didn't just arrive here yesterday. They've actually been on Earth for over 300 million years, which is unbelievable, to considering that they'll only live for about 46 months when they're actually out as flies. They are incredible hunters. And the dragonflies actually, when they're hunting, they hunt midair basically, and the damselflies do too. And they'll use their six legs to catch their prey, so smaller insects. They use their legs like little baskets basically to pick up their prey and catch them. The damselfly and the dragonfly's wings, they have four wings in total, and they're almost identical in their size and in their shape. And they nearly have like a vein-like structure going up through them. But one of the difference between the damsel and the dragonfly is that the damselfly has got big wide eyes that are separated, whereas the dragonfly's eyes are quite close together. However, as a rule, they don't like the cold weather. And if it does get a bit chillier and it's not as sunny to entice them up and out to swoop around and go uh, hunting, they'll be down in the vegetation. And damselflies especially, if they go down on a maybe wet days when they can't fly, they're quite hard to find. But otherwise, as a rule, dragonflies will actually respond to us if they see us in, our, in their territory basically in their area and they'll get up and you can see them usually if we're disturbing them they will fly around you so there are a couple of different colors basically some of them can be blue and have black stripes on them or other ones can be brown and as I said about the size they can start off very small but get very big my nana always told me that when the dragonflies are metamorphosizing and turning from nymphs into actual flies the fairies sew their wings together and the next time you see a dragonfly, don't touch them because they're really, really delicate. But just look closely at their wings and I think you'll agree with me on it. So that's it for this week's episode. Thanks a million for joining me. As always, leave any comments or queries or questions you have down below and I'll be more than happy to get back to you. Take care. Thanks a million.